All right, y'all, so about to discover some more things out here, all right? So this video here, man, is researchers just revealed a terrifying discovery that no one was supposed to see, all right? And in the background, she got secrets of the lost city. We've been trying to figure out them secrets since forever, and we're going to continue to try until we get it, all right? So we're going to check this video out. If you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Here we go. Archaeologists have made a stunning discovery that questions everything we've ever known. Ancient relics that have been discovered over the past 10 years. Archaeologists have discovered ancient rock carvings at the city of... Fragments of a biblical scroll along with other relics have been found. Relics left behind by ancient people are frequently damaged, buried and difficult to identify. But some can completely transform our perspective on our place in history. Archaeologists have made some spectacular discoveries over the years. Some are strange, archaic items that they still do not fully comprehend. Today, let's have a look at these objects that could have come from space. The Dropa Stones High on the Bayankara Ula Mountains, which run through China and Tibet, is a very remarkable labyrinth of caves that are mysteriously interconnected, Holy built either by man or nature. Within these caves are the buried... Hey, I think nature did that. Not saying it can't now. <laughs> That's one person I never mess with is Mother Nature. Not saying it can't, but... Dang, I think nature could have possibly did this? I don't know. Interconnected, think so. built either by man or nature. Within these caves are the buried bodies of the most unusual Whoa. hominoid species ever seen by man. The team of archaeologists who accidentally discovered the caverns in 1938 initially thought that they were ape bodies. However, apes do not bury their dead. If not animals, what or who did these strange looking skeletons belong to? Yes, they were neither human nor animal, or at least not totally human. The skeletons had little and very thin limbs and legs, almost spindly, but what? huge heads in comparison to their short, weak frames. Chi Pu Te, a Chinese archaeologist and his team were inspecting the skeletons when they uncovered something even odder. A circular disc lay half buried in the cave floor. It seemed to be made of stone with a hole in the center. There were spiral inscriptions or grooves like two rings going around it. On closer inspection, it appeared to be writing or hieroglyphs on the grooves. However, no one was able to translate the unusual language, not even ancient writing experts. More intriguing, the engravings on the cave walls depicting the rising sun, moon and stars, which were linked together by lines of little dots. Were the bodies of this one-of-a-kind species attempting to communicate with us? It took experts in Peking 20 years to interpret or translate the disc. What he discovered was too much for the authorities, who refused to let him reveal his findings. What? 716 more of the same type of discs were uncovered during additional cave searches in the vicinity. Hey, one of them discs had a dude holding the axe. I was waiting to hear what, what that one meant. <laughs> I want to know what that one meant. What was he doing in that one? And why they got a problem with us getting the information? I don't get that. More of the same type of discs were uncovered during additional cave searches in the vicinity. The discs, according to Dr. Sum Onui's translation, told a story an amazing account of a space probe that came to Earth from another planet and crashed in these distant highlands. The inhabitants came in peace and were from a very advanced civilization. However, their taller neighbors made living tough for them, so they fled to other worlds. Wedge of Ayud. Some 47 years ago, a crew of miners discovered an object so bizarre that some think it is truly out of this planet. Wait, 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 wait. go back, go back, go back. You heard what he said? Y'all think dinosaurs could be the reason why we haven't met any extraterrestrial life forms that are possibly out there? They might have showed up during the dinosaur era, got a rude awakening and never came back. You think that could possibly be the case? I don't know, just listening to what he said just then. Inhabitants came in peace and were from a very advanced civilization. However, their taller neighbors made living tough for them so they fled to other worlds. Wedge of Ayud. Interesting. Some 47 years ago, a crew of miners discovered an object so bizarre that some think it is truly out of this planet along the banks of the Muresh River in Ayud, Romania. It's unknown what these workers were looking for when they uncovered two mastodon bones deep in the sandy seashore. 
What we do know is that something considerably stranger resided more than 35 feet beneath this area, an object with no apparent date, purpose or explanation, which became known as the aluminium wedge of Ayud, or just the object. What makes the Ayud wedge so confusing is that it appears to have no age or purpose. It's unlikely that a current object would be discovered among the bones of a beast that went extinct 11,700 years ago. To complicate things further, the object was covered in patina, a coating that takes hundreds if not thousands of years to develop. Nonetheless, it portrays itself as modern aluminium, which is not considered to have existed at the time. Simply put, the dates and times do not add up. The object, a clunky aluminium wedge, therefore its name, serves no purpose. Theories about its origins range from alien invasions to complicated preservation, but there is no definitive answer. Klerksdorp's fears. Miners working in pyrophyllite mines in the small town of Otterstal in South Africa's northern northwest province have discovered enigmatic metal spheres known as Klerksdorp spheres. These dark reddish brown, slightly flattened spheres range in size from less than a centimetre to 10 centimetres wide, with three parallel grooves running around the equator on some of them. The most notable specimens have the uncanny look of being manufactured. But here's the kicker. These metallic objects have been dated to 3 billion years ago, when the Earth was too young to support intelligent species capable of manufacturing these spheres. The artefacts have sparked great interest and suspicion among many fringe organisations, including Christian and Hindu creationists and supporters of ancient astronauts. These fringe groups contend that the artefacts are either actual or potential out-of-place artefacts, uparts, which are allegedly direct evidence of a civilization that lived billions of years ago or before the biblical flood. Advocates of ancient astronauts believe the Ottersdal items were created by intelligent extraterrestrials. King Tut's dagger. When like, I'm starting to feel like they had a stronger belief in extraterrestrials than even we do. Anybody else getting that feeling? Like, yeah, the more and more I hear, the more I'm thinking like, they had a belief, a strong belief that there were extra, what happened? Why do we just like push it to the side so much and like, uh, it's no such thing, it's not possible. Researchers first glanced inside Tutankhamun's tomb in the early 1920s. They discovered antechambers crammed with thousands of artifacts, statues, furniture, jewels, garments, chariots, and paintings. Among these things was an iron dagger, slightly over a foot long and carved from an iron meteorite that would confound scientists for over a century. Two new studies present opposing visions of the mysterious weapon's origins, which may have been used by probably the most famous ancient Egyptian pharaoh. One of the investigations on the dagger, which is composed of iron from meteors, implies it was produced in Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, while the second hmm. study says its earthly origins are unknown. Iron smelting had not yet been created during King Tutankhamun's reign, 1333 BC to 1323 BC. Hence the metal was a rare and costly commodity that often came from meteorites. Beth's Mystery Sphere Sometime during March or April 1974, three members of the Betts family, parents Jerry and Antoine, and their oldest son Terry were strolling through the woods around their property on Jacksonville's Fort George Island when Terry discovered something that would have a long-term impact on their lives a strange metallic sphere the size of a bowling ball. Terry, a 21-year-old pre-med student, took the ball home because he thought it was unusual enough to make a decent souvenir. The Betts family didn't give the orb much thought until Terry began strumming his guitar near it one day. Something weird happened, according to Jerry, who became the family spokesman on sphere-related matters. The ball began humming back, it what? soon began to exhibit other strange characteristics, such as rolling around seemingly on its own. It would have had time to do other strange characteristics. Soon as it started humming back at me, it would have had to go. What, 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 is, what is you talking about? It started doing other activities. No, no, it would have had to go. Y'all leaving that? Y'all keeping that in the house? 
Like, y'all look crazy, uh, and, and to go. exhibit other strange characteristics, such as rolling around seemingly on its own, oh, changing no. directions and stopping abruptly. It even vibrated and made a high-pitched sound which made dogs whine and cover their ears. The Bet Sphere, sometimes known as the Mystery Sphere, or simply the Oddball, quickly gained popularity. One of the first people to investigate it was Ron Kivett, the host of a local radio show about paranormal events. Kivett, who is well known locally as one of the writers of the cult monster film Zart, validated the Betts family's assertions that the sphere moved and behaved strangely. He, like many others before him, believed that the orb was of extraterrestrial origin, designed by some cosmic intelligence for an unknown purpose. ET Tooth Wheel Most scientists believe that because the Earth was so young 300 million years ago, the first land animals had yet to evolve into dinosaurs. If that's the case, how do you explain the discovery in Russia of a gear shift, a standard machine part lodged in a 300 million year old chunk of coal? Is this artifact properly identified? And if so, who could have created this and for what reason? Dmitry, a native of Vladivostok, recently discovered something strange about a lump of coal he had acquired to heat his home during the winter. A metallic looking rail or rod was forced into the coal prompting Dmitri to contact biologist Valerie Breer. Following an initial investigation of the bizarre object, specialists concluded that it appeared very much like a toothed metal rail created artificially. It was like parts that are often used in microscopes, various technical and electronic devices. According to the Voice of Russia, another feature of the artifact that piqued the expert's interest was its distinctive shape, which was reminiscent of a modern tooth wheel. It is hard to imagine that an object could take the regular shape of a tooth wheel with six identical teeth naturally. But who made this supposedly metallic object 300 million years ago Good when question. there were no humans on the planet? Good According question. to experts, this piece of metal is of alien origin. The Hypatia Stone This fascinating Egyptian rock includes micro-mineral compositions not found on Earth, in meteorites or comets, or anywhere else in the solar system. The Hypatia stone is barely a few centimetres across and has been fractured into tiny shards, but it may be the most intriguing rock in the world. The beautiful rock, named after Hypatia of Alexandria, the first notable Western female astronomer and mathematician, was discovered in 1996 in Western Egypt by Ali Barakat, a geologist with the Egyptian Geological Survey. Barakat was researching Libyan desert glass, which seems to be similar to sea glass, but geologists believe it formed some 28 million years ago as a result of a meteorite strike. Barakat quickly understood the special significance of the gleaming stone encrusted with minuscule diamonds, and he felt it was not from Earth. Geologists researching the Hypatia stone confirmed its extraterrestrial origins in 2013. Unlike any other known meteorite, Experts initially thought the Hypatia stone was a piece of a comet nucleus. However, it appears that the space rock has a considerably more interesting past. A new study led by geologists at the University of Johannesburg determined that the compounds identified in the Hypatia stone are unlike anything known in the solar system. Cha-ching! I'm gonna start finding where these <laughs> comets hit us and where they drop at, fail. You, you don't hear about them, nothing. And I'm starting to think it's a reason for that. They, they they tracking them, they finding them, they getting them, and making money off of them. I, I'm going to start paying attention now. They get, <laughs> yeah, 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 I see what they're doing. I'm hip to what they're doing now. As a result, by geologists at the University of Johannesburg determined that the compounds identified in the Hypatia stone are unlike anything known in the solar system. As a result, the researchers infer those parts of the rock developed before the solar system. And if these compounds are not pre-solar, the widely held belief that the solar system emerged from a homogeneous gas nebula is put into doubt. The Piri Reis Map The Piri Reis Map can be found in the library of the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul, Turkey. The map, which dates back to the 16th century Ottoman Empire, was compiled by an officer in the Turkish Navy, Admiral Piri Reis, hence the name of the map. He represents continents such as Europe and North Africa, the Brazilian coast, 
a number of islands, including Antillia, the Canary Islands, and Azores, and even Antarctica, which was thought to have been discovered more than 300 years later. Now, what is so bizarre about this map? Where do aliens come into this cartographic marvel? The most confusing aspect is not that it demonstrates the need to reconsider the chronology for several exploratory discoveries, but rather because it portrays Antarctica's terrain in great detail and without reference to ice. The last- That's why they keep saying, man, we're gonna be totally surprised when that ice melts. If we're still around when that ice melts, what we see there is gonna be crazy. Time that occurred was more than 6,000 years ago. Tell us then, how was a continent that had been buried in ice for the past 6,000 years mapped by a Turkish commander from a half a millennium ago? Professor Charles H. Hapgood and mathematician Richard W. Strachan examined the Piri Reis map and concluded that it was created from an aerial image. An aircraft in the 16th century? It would be nearly four centuries until the Wright brothers took their maiden flight and many more years before someone could take a precise snap while in the air. How then? This appears to be the work of an extremely advanced race that we are unaware of. Let's hear your thoughts about these objects in the comments below. I don't get me wrong, I don't think we'll be around. Harvard. I hate when it does that. And I don't never be quick enough to get it changed back or whatever. But, um, yeah, man. Archaeologists have. I don't think we'll possibly be around when that ice melts. But, man, oh, man, what they're going to see. The generation that's around, what they're going to see and witness, I think is going to tell us a lot. For some strange reason, I just think it's it holds a lot of answers to history there. You know what I mean? And I just think it does. You know, I could be wrong. Probably am wrong, but it's just a belief. Listen, man, y'all get at me in this comment section. Let me know what y'all thought of this video, bro. And stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.